Yeah, it's starting. All right, uh, Matt from Mega Beer Regenerated Fuel. This is to teach you. This is what we just picked up. I just uploaded that easy video. Got a phone call to pick up this oil. We're going to mix it. Not knowing how long it's been sitting, the gentleman said it's been sitting for a year. What we're now using is biodiesel conditioner for older oil so it doesn't smoke and give you false readings. You'll use seven ounces. These were handy from the soap containers. That's all you need is seven ounces for 30 gallons. Just gonna pour that right in the tank. Oh, and this strainer here is just homemade. It has a paint bag, paint strainer bag, which is a one uh, point strainer, micro strainer. Now, what's gonna be interesting on this video, guys, is we're gonna put five gallons of transmission fluid in there this time. That's not the transmission fluid. <laughs> That's the diesel. Five gallons of transmission fluid. Yay! Now if you look down in the strainer, you'll see it's red-brown. It's coming out brown. This is going to be a long video, guys. But you know... I go from start to finish so everybody can see that there's no hanky panky going on. We're using the strainer because we don't know where this stuff came from. I do. And we're gonna pretend. Oh, we don't know where it comes from. You'll see it takes a little while to get through the strainer, which is good. Okay. We'll just pull the bag up a little bit to make sure it's going down. Okay. You can see all the ickies in there. Okay. Now, we're going to add three gallons of oil to this. Remember, the ad says oil, transmission fluid, hydraulic fluid. I always teach you to keep them separate because the transmission fluid is better grade to burn. Less cleaning of ash through it. It still has detergents in it, you still want to run it through your beads. Like I said, this is oil that we just picked up. I just uploaded it. Now this is going to spill all over on me, I bet. Wow. Am I lucky. We're all human. And that's why I like making these videos from beginning to end, so you can see all the mistakes that are going to happen to you guys. And when we're done, what we are not going to do is pour the diesel through this strainer. We're going to clean the strainer elsewhere, because you don't want to clean it into your tank, you want it all out of your tank. Well, some of these jugs are going to be, I know I tell you to quarantine all your oil, but me being a professional at this, I can see when the water is going to hit and I'll stop pouring from there. But this looks all solid, all oil. Oh no, Mr. Bill! See, and that's just 
the filter going into the uh, homemade uh, slat down there causing it to slow up a little garbage in there now the reason I put the additive in here earlier is because we're learning that algae is growing in the oil so when you put this in your machines and it starts smoking you're thinking oh I got too much oil in my uh, fuel but no it's not it's a false reading it's the algae that's actually coming through your system and burning up in your your uh, exhaust system so that's going to take care of the algae and you could also keep uh, putting in your um, additives it's not going to hurt the, the filtration system it'll still keep helping your engine biograde fuels also clean your engine and your fuel tanks so you're going to remember that you're going to run your first three months and you're going to change that oil that fuel filter right away because it will be getting dirty not from our systems but because it's actually cleaning your fuel system and all the deposits in it because you're lubricating it more now it's detaching from the sides of your tank and your lines so we're going to keep going here we're just about at 15 gallons we'll throw a little bit more I plan, I'm planning on making a 50-50 uh, mix we had two gallons of diesel at the bottom of this tank from the previous filming. <laughs> no, I did not film that one. Don't mind the cough, that's just the neighbors walking by. <laughs> Sorry. We also want to thank our young uh, college student who's taking filming in college. Richard, thank you for uh, assisting us today. No problem. Now, we're right at that point. We're just going to take this out and let it drip. Can we see the all the uckies in there, Rich? More light? How's that looking? Looks fine. Okay. See all the yuckies? Now we'll pour the diesel. I have diesel in these here cans. Green diesel. Road diesel. We are working on trying to find out if you use off-road diesel if they send that to a lab if they'd be able to tell if it was off-road or road and I'm thinking they will because off-road will have more sulfur than the on-road and please if I'm wrong send me a message Remember, I'm human. Don't start screaming or using foul language, please. As much of my uh, listeners are uh, Christian followers. Okay. Here comes the good stuff. It's a little brown because I had a little oil left over in this uh, container. I know all you guys are saying, hey, turn that bucket over the other way, it'll come out faster. Let's see when I do that. I usually end up splashing. So we're just going to keep this video going like it is.
I know this is kind of lengthy, guys, but this is my policy. Full length videos. Like that. Just wiping it up, the landlord ain't gonna like that. <laughs> we won't tell the landlord. Oh crap, that's the landlord's son filming! <sighs> Don't worry, I'll pay him off. And for all my Canadian watchers, ha ha ha. You know who you are. And what we're laughing at. You could also go on uh, Canada Catalyst on YouTube. And uh, the gentleman in Canada built his own unit, huge 250 gallon unit. And people are starting to like it in Canada, so we're starting to sell our 30-gallon units out there. We've become quite uh, good uh, friends. And I'd like to congratulate him on his baby, which is coming up in uh, Memorial Day weekend. Which they just celebrated this weekend as Queen's Weekend. We feel sorry for the Canadians still having a queen. It's not like she has any real power. Almost like Obama doesn't have all that power. <laughs> okay. Now we mixed the uh, we mixed the brew up by hand with the wand for a couple minutes. Okay. Now you heard it prime the line when I hit the on off switch here. We're just connected to a 12 volt, 12 volt battery. It's just priming. And we just mix it up by hand. And then we're going to turn it on. And let it siphon up through into the filter. Let it mix around a little bit. Now, for all purposes, we're going to mix this up a little bit with it running through the wine, mix it up, make sure every, all the chemicals are getting mixed up, chemicals. The additive, the diesel, the oil, transmission fluid, and oil, just mix it up. Look at that stream. Now, that's a three gallon per minute stream. We offer a five minute pump on here. The beads inside here, the filtration, lasts 30,000 gallons before you have to change them. They cost $250 to replace. The pump on the side here is a 500 gallon filter. Now you're thinking, oh, I'll just buy that filter at uh, Home Depot or one of the home stores. Yes, this is a housing filter that you buy at Home Depot. You have to alter the top here. And I tell you that if you build your own tanks, I give you that advice. We sell the beads for any size tank. You need to call us so I can tell you how much beads you need. It's all biology and square footage and math. The filter inside is a real biofilter cartridge. It's not, it looks like the one at Home Depot, but I promise you, you buy one of those, it's gonna blow out after 90 to 100 gallons. 
you're going to think it's working, and it's not. All the garbage that's coming from this oil is going to be going right through this hose into your gas tank. When you purchase a tank, I tell you where to purchase that cartridge for $4. <coughs> if you don't want it, the hassle of ordering, you can order and purchase for me for $10 a cartridge plus shipping and handling. I just don't have the time to be selling one and two cartridges. That's why I give you that information. The beads inside are from China. You do have to be licensed to handle those. And everything else is made in the United States of America. The only part that would break on this unit would maybe be the hoses leaking. You just retighten. But the only part would be the orange head here. What happens after 90 days if it goes on you? We replace it before 90 days. After 90 days, the part and shipping will cost you $35 to replace. And that's the only thing that would go wrong on this unit. So now we have this going and filtering through. What you would do is shut the pump off. Let it sit for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, you come out, start your pump up once again, put your nozzle, put your nozzle in your fuel tank of what machine you're using it on, uh, heavy equipment, your pickup truck, and uh, away you go. 30 gallons, 30 minutes, $2 a gallon. Now, when you start using this in your heavy equipment, you could start at 30%, 40%, 50% and you would watch your exhaust a clear transparent smoke with a little haze in it will be coming out constantly that means you have too much oil in there if it comes out heavy you definitely got too much oil let's say you're at 60 percent on your construction equipment and it's smoking put five gallons of diesel in that unit and if the smoke stops you know you're at 55 percent with your pickup trucks you'll start at 10% oil, 90% diesel in your tank. Mix it up and run it. You don't get that smoke. You, your next fill up, you do 20 gallons, or 20%, I'm sorry, 20% oil, 80% diesel. No smoke coming through your tailpipe constantly. Then you can keep building up and up. The Fords, <coughs> Fords are running 30 and 40%. Dodge are getting 50 to 60 percent. Now we're talking the 80s. In the 90s, the Dodges are running 40 and 50s, and the Fords are running 30 and 40s in the 90 uh, zone, all the way up to 2006. They just had better diesels back then. The old saying, they don't make them like they used to. Any questions, give me a call. Um, I'll be uh, making some CDs of this uh, that will probably be for sale. You can call 630-788-4091. As for Matt, this video is being made for our sales techs and for uh, prospective buyers. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.